everybody! I have another interleaved practice idea for you. So for this one, you're going to want to take your music and divide it into sections. You can do this for a whole piece or a single movement, whatever makes sense for you. Divide it into separate sections in a way that makes musical sense. I would say for me, my sections are like a couple lines long, like a phrase or two maybe, um, depending on the piece. So divide your piece into sections, assign each section a number, and then you either want to take little slips of paper and write down like one number on each slip of paper, or I usually use the Google random number generator. You just put in how many numbers total there are and you press generate and Google will give you a random number. So you can use this in a variety of different ways. One way to use it is to determine the order in which you're going to practice the sections of your piece. If you're still learning your piece and you don't really have an idea of what order to go in, so you can generate them randomly. This is a great way to test memorization. So you um, have the Google random number generator generate a number. It says section five. You have to perform section five from memory without looking at your music. Um, or you can do it to test performance, which is how I'm going to do it in my video. So like I said, I have some concerts coming up in October. I'm reviving a bunch of music I've played before. So I've divided my music into sections and I'm going to generate random numbers and perform each section to make sure that I can perform each section exactly how I want, like right off the bat out of context, because that's harder than playing the whole piece in order. So there's your practice tip for today. Okay, here's an example of me doing the random order performing that I was talking about in the last video. Like I said in the last video, you can use this in a variety of ways. You can use the random order to determine the order to practice things in. This is a great test for memory. Um, like I've said in some of the videos, I have a series of concerts coming up at the beginning of October and I'm bringing back a bunch of music that I already know. None of it has to be memorized, um, so I don't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure that I can play all the sections of the piece the way I want to. Um, and doing it out of order is a bigger challenge than, than doing it in order because I have to sort of put myself in where am I going to be at this moment musically um, out of order. So I have my Google random number generator pulled up on my phone um, and it's going to tell me which section to do. I have 12 sections. For this video I'm only going to do three different sections in the interest of time but normally I do the whole piece this way. So here we go. Section six. Okay. pretty good. Section four. Okay, this one's a little longer. as hopefully you could tell. I missed a few shifts. I felt kind of tight. That one definitely was not as good. So um, what I do when I do this normally is I would stop right now, which I'm going to do off camera, and take notes on the things that didn't feel good so I can investigate them. Is it something I need to practice more? Is it something that I just wasn't thinking ahead enough? Um, and then after I did that, I would continue um, generating numbers. But I'll stop here for now so the video isn't too long.